We are leaving the Union Creek Camp. Let me try that again. Is he gonna try that? You can't get it right this time? <laughs> I know. Is that the deal? Yeah. We're getting ready to leave the Union Creek Campground. Yep, in, in Oregon. And we've been here for several days and have had an absolute blast. We're gonna stay in Oregon, but this, we're just, we're amazed with Oregon and Oregon roads. Hey, we can, every time we stop somewhere, we learn something new and we find all kinds of things to do in these little out of the way places. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. When we left Grand Mesa, we didn't know where we were gonna go other than we said, it's time for us to get out of Colorado. Utah's too hot. We've kind of done Idaho. Hey, let's go to Oregon. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. And it was so cool because we found the neatest place. Getting ready to yeah. leave here tomorrow to another place unknown, yes. which will be dispersed camping. <laughs> but yes. even the next place, it's this blank slate that I've got nothing to fill with. And so I think it's gonna be terrible. And then we get there and it's absolutely awesome. And I don't wanna leave. So, and we jump to this next blank slate that I've got to like color code in within the lines. <laughs> That's what I feel like. <laughs> well, it's okay if you go out of the lines. Yes. So right. anyway, we will see you at the next location, unknown at this point. We'll figure it out. All right. Leaving Union Creek, and it says we're going to be there by when? It says we'll be there by 312. <laughs> okay. We have 235 miles. I'm saying 515 will be there. That's a good time. When have we got time to set up our tent? Well, as long as we have time to find a place to live. <laughs> I have a half a tank of gas. Yeah, mine says I have 150 reserve, it's got a half a tank also. So. Okay. So the first town, I guess we don't need to go to Sumter for our two tanks. No. Um, we'll go down. Private property there, but there's when you get down here, you, there's a couple of roads that are oh, okay. that are open. It shows. Okay. Then we pop in and out of the forest, and then there's there's two spots or two roads. It looks like that's close to the river. Okay. Looks like it's heavily traveled.
Another great place to uh, get water, huh? Hike up a hill with 25 pounds of water. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Is that it? You're doing awesome. That's all. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a hill. <laughs> and there is our camp. Phew. <laughs> we are in this one is, of the oddest. This is life. <laughs> and we are in one of the one of our most oddest dispersed camping spots yet. <laughs> Not that we have a lot of yeah. experience at it. No, but this is odd because it's we're in the National Forest. We are absolutely in the National Forest. Yes. Confirmed by the GPS. Yes. But we're in this strip of a National Forest. Like yeah. this narrow little strip. And there's houses over here. About a mile away. And there's or houses less. over here. And in front of our place is like this walking path that looks well, like a, the residents take every day. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a forest road. There's ATVs that have been coming by, or that have gone by, but it's also a walking path for the neighborhoods, the two neighborhoods. And I must say they're they're nice neighborhoods too. By the way, help me out here. Hold that. There you go. They're nice neighbors. Oh, you squeezed it. Sorry the precious <laughs> water you squeeze yeah because you just you see how hard it is for us to get water but anyway you got that not yet okay okay so anyway we found this site it took a little hunting and pecking because we looked we used the motor vehicle usage map and we thought we could get a site on the river where you well, get it, look, a... it looks like it is on a two-dimensional map yeah yes and that's not the case. The river's kind of, we can get to the river. I mean, obviously we aren't going to, you know, die of no. thirst or anything, but, but we're what, 20 miles outside of, east of Bend or south, south of Bend? South of Bend. Yeah. 20 miles south of Bend. And thank you, Mountain Scott. You are correct. It is dusty. <laughs> no, I know. I haven't done anything and I already feel dirty. <laughs> All right, so welcome to our dispersed camping. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> just in, just in case, <laughs> I'm, I'm checking out your, your fancy tree stump cooking technique here, oh, yeah. Richard. I mean. <laughs> I know, it's awesome. <laughs> it's a, probably a, what, a hundred year old tree stump? More, more than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's old. Yeah, yeah. This sucker is, I, I don't know how old it is, but it's perfect. It's a perfect camp, so that's why we chose this, because it had a, natural table. Yeah, for what's us. for dinner? We have hamburgers. We are gonna put the cheese on these. Yum. All right, show us your favorite cooking spots. So, take a look. Pretty nice, huh? Back behind us. Doesn't look cool. There's a beautiful river down there called the Deschutes River. It's this is the one river. Of the... the river's nice. I know. The river's nice, but sometimes we camp in spots that are that are weird. They're just strange. Yes. This is a weird spot. This is a weird spot. We are on National Forest, but we're right near a trail of uh, we're joggers. near a, tra a trail of joggers dogs cats you name it there's <laughs> bicycles, <a> bicycles <laughs> ca canoes kayaks everything and it's not that they're they're here with us camping it's that they're 
from the surrounding neighborhood and they kind of come through here. This is like their backyard. It feels like we're camping in their backyard. That's what it feels like. Yes. In mom and dad's backyard. <clears throat> yeah, mom and dad's and cabin and, backyard. Yes, and they're going to come out and yell at us anytime. But they haven't. They've been very nice, but it's just... In fact, we've even heard people used to camp there all the time and now they don't. And then we've even heard one was like, oh yeah, that's good. That's a good spot. How long are you going to be there? Yeah. I don't know if she was checking. <laughs> she was probably checking. I think it was our, our <laughs> yuppie tent and two, you know, nice motorcycles. Yes. That, so. it, that it doesn't look like we're, you know, just squatters. Yes, but I'm excited. You're, you're just chomping. She's just chomping I at am. the bit to say something and I'm not going to let her say it now. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Why? I'm excited because we're going to get on the road tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to get on the road tomorrow and we're going to head towards Crater Lake. Yes. Because did we mention it's really dusty here? Oh yeah, we didn't tell him that. No, it's like really, really dusty. So you see the road? It's like powder. It's like it's like talc, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's like baby powder. It's it's as fine as it's as fine as baby powder. Yes, and it's getting into everything. Yeah. Well, sometimes you go camping and you're at a place and it feels like the last place we were at. It felt good. Mm -hmm. You know, we were like, oh, you know, fairly clean. We we're able to wash up. Yes. Here. We washed washed up today, and I still feel dirty because well, of the dirt. Yeah, so as soon as the car goes by, <clears throat> yeah. it picks up all that dust. Or we didn't ATV. tell you that either. <laughs> Cars, ATVs, picks up the dust. Yes. yes. This is, on the, on the scale of dispersed camping, like Grand Mesa is like way, way up there. Yeah. And this one is the lowest. Way, way down. It's our yes. lowest so far. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Grand Mesa is our highest. So, so far, far. <laughs> there's always a compromise that you have to do. You always have some kind of a compromise. Yes. So be prepared when you're out camping, whether it's RV, tent camping, motorcycle, whatever. When you're out in the wilderness, you're going to have to have some compromises. Be able to have compromises for sure. Yes. What did you say, right. Richard? I said, I'm going to get the trailer ready first. Oh, okay. Before we take care of the tent. Yeah. I just wanted to, I gotta, I gotta put this back on. Okay, in case you're wondering, we are breaking camp. And I took a picture of the time and at 7.32, we're gonna see how long it takes for us to break camp. We've, we're, we're kind of guessing it takes us about two hours, but we're getting a lot better at it. So we're hoping it doesn't take that long. We'll see. Okay, so what did we learn on this dispersed camping trip? Here's, here's what I learned. If you're not comfortable somewhere, leave. Just leave. Just pack up and leave. And we're just not comfortable and we're hitting the road. So that's what I learned. It's just, you know, it's okay to move on quicker than what you originally intended to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're excited to hit the road and go see what Crater Lake area has to offer for us. Wahoo! I know. With this kind of travel, we can kind of come and go at will and it's really kind of it's nice it's got its drawbacks because you could end up with a site that you're not happy with but then you just pack up and move on down the road because there's millions of other sites that are a lot nicer That's it. Always remember, pack in, pack out. <laughs> yeah. And you're packing out. Well, I'm packed out. I got the trash can. Yes. That's something that you need to think about when you're traveling like this is when you're doing dispersed camping, you pack in, pack out, you need to make sure you've got room to pack it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because somehow we could pack it in, but it's always difficult to pack it out.
What do you got? Those were given to us or part of a promotion thing for Safeway. So and if you get a gold Mickey Mouse, it's worth a hundred dollar gift card. And so these have just been riding around for how many days three, now? Three, three days. We got three days. And we're getting ready to leave today. Yes, yep. So they're going for another ride. Going to go another 400 rides. Yeah.